okay a day on the farm <laughs> well not quite on the farm but pretty much you know so I've been busy uh, yesterday I didn't film it actually I should have filmed it really it's only been digging I'll show you quickly so over here that there is underneath there is where the uh, grey waste goes to manhole sort of thing and there's a pipe that goes underground to sort of there somewhere around there it's quite a large pipe it's like the overflow pipe for anybody who was parked on the air in the past and um, it was open at the end but it was sort of underground and I wanted it to go around this side neat and tidy so uh, what I did yesterday I dug up a channel underneath there and put a new pipe down just use the sand of those really uh, the other end I've gone quite a way along to almost over to the actual thing itself it doesn't really make any difference and uh, now when we park up in future I can just get hold of that and put it on there and turn it on and all our wastewater goes constantly into the actual proper place over there so uh, over there just underneath that there uh, there is our little hell sand point where we can chuck our wheeze down there bit of a job I've got to do today just pull this back so you can see better there we go I'm going to clear all this it's all overgrown the stinky nettles look it's an old whatever that is there looks like oh it could be what's that a shed and fence oh it's probably um stuff to put on the fence but yeah I'm going to clear all this uh, as far as I can do anyway let's see how I can get on with that because I've just fixed this as well because this was lying around nearby <laughs> yeah, bird table so I did it somebody's obviously made that in the past and it was a bit broke at the top so I've just fixed it all up and I bought um, <laughs> what's left of the seed that Jan keeps buying for the birds and I want to put that out but Jan says she wants it around the other side of the van so I'm going to clear that first before I put this round and then we'll put the seeds on later on hopefully and see if the birds like it I'm sure they will I'm sure they'll spot it so there you go there's my, my bike over there look at the minute just shoved out of the way uh, get the shed would be better and of course it's a folding bike and it goes in the van so we're on our travels very soon we'll be back in the van anyway so yeah yeah so I'm cracking on as much as I can do so there's some rubbish lying around look an old I think that's a black tank uh, pipe from an RV looks like it so get rid of that so there's a bit some bots of uh, stuff lying around I'll clear that up no problem but I've got a lot of stuff to weed get all the weeds out that bit there was obviously where the shed was in the past and uh, that's probably where we're going to put our one there and get that sorted so yeah quickly show you around here so like I say we're next to uh, farming equipment great big machines go in there can't really show you over there it's all all this stuff here all this all this bush stuff is the mung thorns on them of evil they are <laughs> so I'm not going near them if I can help it um, but yeah in there yesterday there was some sheep I can't see any today but they came to the other side of the uh, just the other side of this here and you can see them roaming around so I've got plenty to be getting on with it's all no, it's, all, it's all to do with like tidying the area up, get it tidied up before we start um, really going for it and putting stuff down and doing some of my uh, off grid stuff that I want to do. Dying to get on with that sort of stuff. The idea of being self sufficient, uh, even on land, you know, on a plot would be brilliant. Uh, somebody's got a cat nearby. It's quite a nice looking cat. Let's crack on anyway. OK, 
Okay, just spent the last 20 minutes or so trying to clear a bit. I think I've succeeded a little bit here. Da, da, da. What do you reckon to that? That's better, isn't it? With my new uh, <laughs> Wix's spade, Wix's gloves, Wix's trowel. No, we're not sponsored. <laughs> but yeah, there you are, making a dent already. Still got a fair bit to go. This is a fence we've got to sort out yet. So the farmer says he's got uh, a couple of fence panels we can have. Save us buying them. So uh, we'll be fixing that up at some point. And get rid of them. Post, actually, is what's been bussed off. Probably in the wind. We had high winds recently. Yeah, you can see there, look. So I might be able to reuse that post. Just saw a little bit at the end off the post. Get rid of what's in there. Push that into there, fix it in. So I've got more, more of this to do. That hookups, by the way, is not actually for us, funny enough, even though it's right next to us. That's going over to some workshop that's way over there. Um, these are metered. So we have got one, it's that way. Um, if we want to. So obviously, we haven't been hooked up since we've moved on here. Um, but yeah, so there we go, that's a good start anyway. A lot better, yes. Okay, it's a couple of days later because of the weather. Started to work on that, uh, where I had to remove the weeds at the side there. And more or less done, I've got a little bit at the top end, but that's not so bad. But you'll see how the weather's been because of all the mud. Um, so yeah, put a stop to things. So I'll just show you what I've done. So here we go. So as you can see, but it's really muddy on that bit there. Really muddy. We had such a load of rain. It's unreal. Typical. And I wanted to get on with it, but uh, I managed to get most of it done. And also, I've done this. I've replaced the fence. Let's pull back a bit so you can see. There you go. How about that? And these two fence panels that I've put in to replace those other knackered ones that were lying on the floor, these are not brand new either. So I'm reusing stuff uh, that the farmer offered me these fence panels. Obviously for free, obviously. Um, he says, use these ones. So I'll grab them. This post... It's just slightly lower, but we're not too worried about that sort of thing because we're going to have trellis going across the top and have something growing over so it'll look really nice later on. So we're not too worried about that little gap for the sake of going to buy a new post. So what I did, because that post was knackered at the bottom and it broke off out of the uh, thing that holds them in the ground there, I just took it and sawed it, sawed the bottom bit off, leaving proper good wood still and slotted that back in tightened it up it's like a nut and bolts at the side of that thing at the bottom there tightened it all in so that's all solid and then I fitted these of course it ain't as straightforward as that I had to remove some old strips of the old fence on the edges and also another thing is I've reused I'll show you got my stuff over here <laughs> The old one was fitted in with screws, which is somewhat unusual, because when I've done fencing in the past, you usually use long nails. You don't usually use screws. Um, I mean, you can do. It's a bit of a pain. So I had to use my drill. I drill down there, look. And, and drill through the sides a bit to give me a head start with the screws, because otherwise it's a nightmare trying to screw a long screw through <laughs> wood, and it'll probably split anyway. So I used the drill for that, but uh, but yeah, there you go. Nobody's in that, by the way. Nobody's in that one. But uh, but yeah, so it looks good, doesn't it? Apart from the the mud, fixed bird table. So uh, yeah, it's starting to come together, isn't it? A little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. I've got to get rid of all this junk here. I know how to get rid of that. 
Uh, right, so there's another fort I'm going to do later on because I had to fill the water up this morning for the first time since we've been here. This, obviously, all this needs sorting out and tidying. Poor bike, look, shoved in the corner. This is a mess. I'm going to sort all this out. Look at it, bits of rag on there. So that'll be all sorted. I've got, um, see this here, insulation thing. I've got a new one of these to put on. So I'm going to tidy all that up. You know, the geese in the background there. Um, yeah, what I thought I'm going to do, because to fill the water up this morning, I've connected my usual hose to it. Went right way around there, around to the other side. Well, of course, it's got to be the other side, isn't it? So I thought to myself, I know, I'm going to get one of them splitters. You can get these splitters, that screw onto there, and gives you two separate taps. And then I'm going to have one running along to the other side, where I'm going to have a hose that I can just pull off the side there, maybe maybe fix it to the fence, I don't know. And uh, straight to the tank, rather than to come around here, drag it all across the ground, and I won't have to keep getting that hose out the garage in the uh, in the van. Leave that for when we're on the road. So yeah, keeping myself busy. So it's all it's all going well at the minute. So I'm quite pleased about the fence, and I like the idea of reusing stuff that's that's old rather than buying new. Um, even the screws, I mean, they're horrible, aren't they? They're rusted and that. But uh, but no, that's the way to do it. You use the best. I mean, some of them are knackered, so I've got to chuck some of them. But just about managed to get by. I've got some screws, but I ain't got long enough screws, so. And I certainly ain't got no nails. But why would I carry nails with me, you know what I mean? Um, if I had to, I would have gone and bought them, but I managed to get around it, so. Uh, yeah. yeah, quite pleased. Yeah, so one last look. And I say we've a bit of trellis going along the top there with something growing over, it'd be quite nice. And this, I say it looks terrible at the minute with the mud, but when it all dries up and we start putting stuff down, it looks quite, really quite nice around this bit. So, but there you go. So that's our second video of life on the farm. <laughs> And uh, we're back again soon. We're going to be out on the road very soon as well. So uh, I'll have to come to a stop at some point on here. But uh, just plod away, plod away. So well, that's it. And thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Ta-da. <laughs>